blah. <laughs> and then on top of it, you, you get into acting. I mean, you just, you become this actor and you're in this movie that I love. I got to see this on the big screen. I was very happy because it doesn't play. It, you couldn't find it for the longest time. Get crazy. You were in this movie, Get Crazy. And I was shocked to see you in it. I didn't know what to expect when I was watching it. And then all of a sudden you pop up. I'm like, holy crap, that's Lee Ving. Um, what do you remember about, do you remember anything about being on the set of, that, of Get Crazy, making that movie? Sure. And what about Flashdance? Ah, uh, yes, and Flash Dance as well. That's right. You are also in Flash Dance. And you're also in this movie. Uh, you play the bad guy in Dudes, which was a pleasant yes. surprise. And in Clue. Yes. With Madeline Kahn and Eileen Brennan. Yes. Martin Mull. Wow. What a, that's what I when I when I in general, I think outside of the music world, when people hear the name Lee Ving, they auto they clue pops up immediately. Um, as as you are the uh, the instigator of all the the action in the film, but you you have the uh, in in the movie dudes you uh, you kill Flea's character in and yes. set off this cross country chase. Uh, what was it like working with Flea? And Flea was in fear. Tell me about yes. that. How did that happen? And Penelope Spears was director. Right. Yes, she was. She directed Dudes. It's a really interesting movie because it kind of has like this punk bend, but it also was like a Western. It's also like a cross country movie. Yes. Just all of those things rolled into one. Um, what? What? what tell me about uh, uh, Flea being in fear. How, he he came into the band for for a period of time. Yes. Uh, he he's a really good player, and uh, fit right in. It worked out great. And then literally he, I think he exits fear and then he starts the, the chili peppers start. Well, that had already happened. The chili peppers oh. had already started before he was in fear. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. I don't know if that particular version of his group was, was the one. Right. But, uh, he was actively at, at that be, before we were, before we were uh, in cahoots. So now, most recently, I've seen you before. I want to ask you about the new album and and, and stuff. Um, and for I just want to say, first of all, thank you again for doing this. This was this was so amazing to speak with you and to hear uh, you talk about your experiences. Truly fantastic. I most recently was watching Glenn Danzig's newest film called Death Rider in the House of Vampires, and was just tickled to see you playing a bartender you're not only are you a bartender but you're a bartender vampire in the old west tell me about that how did you get involved with that project what was you it know, like what was, what was this film you're talking about uh glenn danzig's film death rider and the house of vampires vampire western and what part did i play in that you played a bartender it uh, it may have been like a a one night's worth of work, or or something of that nature. Uh, at that time, was very busy. There, there was quite a right, bit of that. right. Um, you're a Renaissance man. You you're a musician, and you're an actor. You do a lot of stuff. Is there a difference in approach to when you're acting in a film as opposed to writing music and and lyrics or you know, doing a live stage show, like how, how do you approach those two sort of um, forms? Well, the music thing, the stage show is us. And I just go to my honest feelings about whatever subject I happen to be writing about. And, uh, uh, but then in, in a film where you're portraying something that happened at a, at a certain point in history, there can be an advantageous way of showing that too, but uh, you're still confined at least to getting the historical portion of that performance uh, contained in what you're doing. So there's more, more to that than just what, what I would consider uh, necessary to be looked at for, uh, for musical releases for us. Thank <laughs> you.